to say that Amazon is a titan of industry would be an understatement. In its 20 plus years, it has become not only a success story, but a model for all growing businesses. Amazon started in the 1990s, during the dot-com boom, made it through the dot-com crash period, and emerged as the most dominant company in the online retail world. That is no small feat. Today, Amazon nets upwards of $100 billion a year in revenues, and its product range has seemingly no limits. The lessons small businesses can learn from Amazon could fill an entire textbook and then some. But here are five of the most important lessons to take away. Lesson number one, know your customers. Amazon is phenomenal at understanding its customers' preferences and using that information to increase sales. Based on your past purchases, Amazon recommends other products you're most likely to buy, which is part of its flawless online experience. They make the purchasing and upsell process effortless for the customer. This recommendation engine generates 35% of Amazon's revenues and after implementing it, the company recorded a 29% sales increase. Its conversions for recommended items can be as high as 60%. By effectively leveraging their customers' data, they're able to understand customer needs and improve customer experience moving forward. Lesson number two, continue experimenting and measuring your results. Today, it's incredibly easy to run various online experiments, from split testing to surveys to simply trying out different strategies and marketing channels. Even as a small business, you have all of these tools at your disposal. With a little planning, you can innovate just like any other big company to stay ahead of the curve. This mindset has proved to be highly profitable for Amazon. It's how the company came up with free shipping on purchases of more than $25, monthly subscription plans, the recommendation engine, and more. Lesson number three, think recurring revenue. Amazon has mastered the subscription model. Rather than throwing a bunch of money into ads and traffic each month, hoping to convert at least as many customers as last month, why not lock in your current customers for the long run? This way, once you acquire a customer, you can guarantee ongoing revenue and grow your base further. That's why Amazon offers subscriptions for certain items that we're more likely to buy again, such as food and home goods. Then there's Amazon Prime, Kindle Unlimited, and more. You too, as a small business, can place more emphasis on reoccurring revenue. From loyalty cards to subscription plans, the options are plentiful. This business model is superior in the long run. It's cost efficient and designed for high revenue growth and long-term success. Lesson number four. Many businesses focus on what their competitors are doing. They forget that if they shift all of their focus on giving customers the most amazing experience and doing effectively, their competitors will merely turn into followers. One thing Amazon realized early on was that all the customers cares about are fast shipping times and great support. Drop an email to Amazon and you'll get an answer within 24 hours. Likewise, their shipping service is so good, it's now a serious threat to FedEx. Lesson number five, don't be afraid of failed experiments. As a new or growing business owner, most of your experiments will fail. That's how you innovate. Without failure, you have no room for improvement. Amazon had failed products and experiments that you could argue the company was built on failure. There was A9 search in Amazon auctions, to name a few, as well as a plethora of unsuccessful marketing campaigns. Don't be afraid to take risks and try different marketing tactics. Some will prove to be a gold mine, but many will fail. At the same time, only take calculated risks. For example, 
If you redesign your newsletter, don't blast it to your entire list. Pick a segment and test it there. While your small business may not turn into a giant like Amazon overnight, Bezos Empire is one that should serve as a model for businesses large and small.